everyone. I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet a beautifully textured stitch called the 3D shell stitch. This is the stitch here. It does have a 3D appearance. It's the same on the front as it is on the back and it's a wonderful one row repeat. You're going to love this stitch. For the tutorial today I'm going to be using a little bit of Pima Cotton by Line Brand Yarn. It's a worsted weight 100% cotton as well as a 5 millimeter crochet hook. You can find links to these items in the description of this video. Also in the description you'll find a direct link to the free written pattern on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. So thank you so much for joining me. While you're here, don't forget to subscribe. Let me know how you would use this stitch in a project and feel free to say hello down in the comments and uh, take a look around. This channel is updated weekly every Sunday morning with a new free crochet stitch tutorial. Our stitch today is worked in rows. We're going to start by making a slip knot and then by working a foundation chain. The foundation chain for the 3D shell stitch needs to be a multiple of 4 plus 2. So today I'm going to chain a total of 22. Once you have your foundation chain worked, you're going to begin with row one uh, with a single crochet into the second chain from your hook and then a single crochet into each stitch all the way across. At the end of row one, you're going to chain one and turn your work. For row two, we're going to begin by working a single crochet into that first stitch. Your chain one does not count as a stitch. Chain two and back into the same stitch, work four double crochet stitches. Skip the next three stitches and into your next stitch work a single crochet, chain two, and four double crochet stitches. Skip the next three stitches. And repeat all the way across. Single crochet into the next stitch, chain two, and four double crochets all back into the same stitch. Skip the next three, single crochet, chain two, and four double crochets. When you come all the way across and have four stitches remaining, you're going to skip the next three and then single crochet into your final stitch. That brings you to the end of row two. You're going to chain one and turn your work. Now for the pattern, this next row is the repeat row. So you're going to be repeating this row, uh, next row, uh, for as long as you would like. We're going to start by working a single crochet for row three into the first stitch and just as you did before chain two 
and work four double crochet stitches all into the same stitch. You're going to skip the next three stitches. One, two, three. Now working around the post of your next stitch, you're going to work a front post single crochet. So bring your hook in front of your work, insert your hook around the post of that next stitch from front, around back, out through front again, yarn over, draw up a loop, and yarn over and pull through two. That's your front post single crochet. Chain two, and you're going to work four double crochet stitches, this time working them into the chain two space. So into this chain two space, work four double crochets. We're now going to repeat that all the way across. Skip the next three stitches. Around the post of your next stitch, work a front post single crochet. Chain two and work four double crochets into the chain two space. Repeat that all the way across. When you come to your final set, you're going to work a final front post single, so skip the next three, front post single crochet around the post of that next stitch, and then finish off with a single crochet into the top, or sorry, uh, a single crochet into the top of the turning chain, which is your single crochet stitch. You're then going to chain one and turn. So for the repeat in this pattern, you're simply going to repeat that last row three, beginning with a single crochet into the first stitch, chain two, four double crochets into that same single crochet. Skip the next three stitches, three double crochet stitches, and sing, front post single crochet into the next stitch, chain two, and four double crochets into your chain two space. Repeat that all the way across, finishing off with a front post single crochet uh, around the final double crochet, and then a single crochet into your um, final stitch and uh, chain one and turn and that's all there is to working the 3D shell stitch. So thank you so much for joining me. Once again, I invite you to subscribe and I look forward to seeing you again next week. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye. Mm -hmm.